<laughs> you gotta love quota hires. They can do anything they want. They can't be held accountable. And if you do, you're sexist and mean and you're just picking on her because she's a woman. Look, a lot of agencies have things prohibited. Um, Woodland, actually, you can't drive home in your personal car in uniform unless you have a cover shirt on. So you can't um, have your patch and stuff showing while you're driving home in your personal car. You have to be covered up. Uh, and, and I mean, I don't know how many agencies have that. If there's any cops out there in your agency has that. Some of them don't want you identifying as a cop when you're not on duty or in a police car representing the government. Um, unless you, you know, have to go on a call of authority and you, uh, you know, try to take action. But so this girl's making TikTok videos and she's been disciplined and she's been told to stop. And guess what? She ain't stopped. Oh, did I say she was a single mom? Oh, she's a mom and a deputy. Oh, ain't that nice, Rick? They can't pick on her. She can do whatever she wants. Yeah, pretty much. This Orange County Sheriff's deputy has been punished for a video she posted on TikTok. It's not punished for a video. She's posted multiple videos. They've probably warned her several times and said, hey, you're crossing a line. You're using lyrics that use, you know, the F word and it's not representing the agency good. Now, she's saying she's doing it to represent the agency better so people see cops better. She's doing it because she wants attention. Yet, yeah, despite the punishment, she continues to create new videos while wearing her... Oh, look, she has little pink pins on her. Oh, isn't that nice? She's got pink pins, Rick. Okay. Her uniform. Now, the deputy was suspended from her job. <laughs> Two women who got jobs because they're women or because of what bathroom or what color are reporting on a woman that got a job because she was a woman that's ignoring rules. The irony is so thick. <laughs> for disobeying her superiors and discrediting the sheriff's office. But tonight, the deputy continues to post new TikTok videos. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest shows us why. What happened to the sisterhood? These women attacking another woman. I thought if you're a woman, you're supposed to protect all women no matter what they do. And if you're gay, you got to protect all gays. And if you're black, you got to protect all blacks. But if you're white, you can't protect anybody white. Otherwise, you're a racist. Yeah, OK, I got it. Hi, she is doing it. This investigation began when a fellow deputy stumbled upon the TikTok videos. During the investigation, other law enforcement officers said they felt the videos were inappropriate and embarrassing. Yeah. Orange County Deputy Shelby Abramson received a three-week suspension after investigators say she violated agency policy while posting videos on TikTok. So when you're looking at my belt, I have a taser. A taser that's black, looks like a gun. And we've already seen four or five instances where women can't tell the difference between a taser and a gun. And I have a gun. Wow, she's tough. She's got a taser and a gun. Wow. And she trimmed her eyebrows. Wow. One gun, honey. Abramson has been creating TikTok videos of herself in uniform since shortly after she was hired by the agency less than two years ago. Those TikTok videos have earned her 80,000 followers. Wow, 80,000 followers. Wow, 317,000 likes. Followers. According to this internal report, although most of the videos Deputy Abramson posted were benign, some of the audio tracks contained foul language and sexually explicit lyrics. Now, just for GP, I'm wondering how many of you people really give a shit if she's out there making videos. I mean, look, me personally, I, I don't really have a problem with you. I don't care if she wants to go out there and do that stupid shit. Yeah, if I was in charge of Sheriff's Agency, I'd either tell her, look, knock it off or you're fired if it bothered me. Or I'd say, if you step over the line, you're going to be held accountable and then hold her accountable. And maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. But from what I've seen on these videos, I don't think she's like bringing huge discredit on the agency. It kind of shows the, the mentality of cops out there. It kind of shows the lower of standards on what they have to hire in order to be politically correct. It shows that you can't hold people accountable and that if you're in a special class, special class is anything other than a white male, you can do whatever you want and not be held accountable. So those are my issues.
The school resource officer deleted this video after News 6 first. Oh, she has a little pink wristband. Frick, isn't that cute? Okay. It's cute till you need her to help you. She pulls out her gun and she says it's a taser and shoots you in the back. Then it ain't so cute reported about it, telling investigators she screwed up and shouldn't have posted that one. That type of don't phase a Besides placing the sheriff's office in disrepute, investigators say the deputy disobeyed her supervisor by continuing to create TikTok videos while on duty, despite being ordered to stop. So we're going to do some squad talks with Shelby. Abramson defended her TikTok videos to investigators, saying her motive was the humanizing of the badge, that we're not just this bad guy behind a gun. <laughs> I kind of thought it was kind of funny when she had her little pig ears on. <laughs> Rick, it's not funny. She should be. All right, whatever. While the sheriff's internal probe was still underway, Abramson continued to post TikTok videos, including one recorded inside Epcot while the park was empty. Warning, do not add 30 pounds and try this dance. Even after being punished, she has kept on making new TikTok videos for her online fans. The Orange County Sheriff's Office would not make Abramson available for an interview, and she told News 6 by phone. So, the girl's a single mom. She's not taking care of her kid while she's doing videos, and she's not working for the sheriff's department that she's getting paid is she off duty when she's gotten this uniform on or is she on duty if she's on duty and getting paid by the taxpayers then i mean I, this is one of those things that i, I don't there, to me there's a lot bigger problems cops out there shooting up the freaking town than this but this is just the many problems of hiring because of what bathroom you use or what color you are versus for standards and holding people accountable which is why the level of service and the level of uh, either moral knowledge or dignity or respect or uh, the position of peace officer working for the public and representing your community has gone to the toilet. ...that her supervisors instructed her not to speak with us. Some law enforcement agencies prohibit officers from appearing in uniform on their personal social media accounts. I haven't, I haven't heard of that. I mean, that's, uh, so if, if I, if I wear my uniform and somebody takes a picture and, and I post a picture that somebody else took because I'm working, I don't see how that should be my fault. Um, but if there's an agency out there that says you can't appear in uniform, that's going to be tough, man. You can't share a post or nobody can share it. None of your friends can come and share. Look, I don't go to Facebook because it's just a drama page anyway and it does not have the break problems, but. Now, the Orange County Sheriff's Office does allow it, but deputies are cautioned against identifying the agency and they must not do anything that would negatively impact the public's perception of the agency. Okay, so this agency allows it now. Because they're going to get caught up in this, when a lawyer says you're picking on her because she's a female, they're going to change the policy and say, you can't appear, period, no matter what you're doing in uniform. Now, we don't have to worry about, because see, the problem with this is when you try to prosecute her, they're going to get into definitions. What is inappropriate? What is discredit? How did she bring discredit? Did somebody complain? If another officer explained, let's get the officer in here and explain why that offended him and what. And is his offended reasonable? Because his offense may be, you know, he may just be overly offensive. He may, you know, not know what bathroom to use. That's why he got offended. I mean, I, I don't know. But that's the problem when you get into these policies and they're not very, very clear and explicit, which is why a lot of agencies make really bad policy because they just either shut it down and say, if we shut it down and out, uh, outlawed or make it prohibitive completely, we don't have to worry about fighting lawyers and justifying, well, what does inappropriate mean? And what does it's okay? And well, my client thought it meant that it was okay. And she didn't think that she was being inappropriate. Therefore, she felt she was following the policy and you're just picking on her because she's a female. That's the problem. All right. But hey, you know what? There'll be guys here wanting her number. And now, now she'll get more followers. <laughs> There'll be guys, Rick, why are you picking on her? I ain't picking on her. I'm just bringing it up. Willing that there.